everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I have my August it's still August right August update for Nightmare Before Christmas um yeah <laughs> this is a this is a big project it is a very big project we put the um 13 by Halloween and the 12 days of Christmas together and we made it a Halloween and a Christmas project all in one for 25 products and um yeah, it's a big one. So um, I'm going to start with Halloween since it comes first. Um, actually, I'm going to tell you, I, ha I have to give you the details and then I'm going to tell you I have empties. Details. This started on June 25th, ends on December 25th, which is Christmas. And um, you know, Halloween's in there. It's in there at uh, October 31st. I had to think about that for a second because my brain is fried. I'm ready for school to start. I'm so ready for school to start because kids need to go to school. All right, let's get on with this. Fantastic Ladies collab. Me and Amanda kind of came up with this whole idea to put this together, put the two holidays together, and um, everyone that has joined in, they're going to be listed down below because they're awesome. They're fantastic. Of course they're awesome. So go down there, check them out if you want to. I want to. I've, I've been trying to catch up on a lot of videos after being on vacation and everything, trying to get the kids registered for school, I'm a little behind, so um, I'm I'm back to watching, but I, I have a lot of catch up to do, so bear with me. Um, all right, empties. I've got empties. Two of them from Christmas. These are the um, lotion bars. They kind of have like a citrusy scent. They were shaped like little Christmas trees. I really like them. Citrus, like a citrus pine, I think is what they were. Not just citrus, like a citrus pine mixed together. It's kind of a, a unisex smell. I really like that one a whole lot. Um, I also finished for Halloween because they were black. These Equate Beauty Charcoal Pore Strips. I actually really like these once I figured out how to use them. If you don't wet your, your skin, um, your face, wherever you're putting them, before you put them on, they won't stick. So I wasted the first one before I ever put it in this project, but now they're done. I will repurchase some pore strips. I just haven't done it yet, but I think I'm going to go back to the regular ones because um, the charcoal, if it doesn't pull everything out, it actually leaves a little bit of the charcoal behind. It actually makes you look like you have clogged pores, blackheads or whatever, and that's not a good look for anyone. So did like the strips going back to the white ones. I much prefer those. They don't leave any like funky residue on my face. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, I have two more Christmas empties. This is the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Dry Oil Healing Dry Oil Weightless Spray. Something, something, something. It's a lot of words for like a spray oil for your hair. I did not like this. Amanda sent it to me because she didn't like it for her hair. But we have very different textures of hair. So she was hoping that it would work really well for my hair. Absolutely hated it. Um... When it says dry oil, it means it, it, it makes my hair feel really dry. I didn't like it. I did use it because I have a lot of hair, which is all pulled up back here, but I do have a lot. So I, um, I went through it a lot quicker than your average person. Cause you know, when you got this much hair, you go through hair products quicker. Um, so yeah, I'd, I would not recommend that to anyone at all, unless you have super greasy hair and you want it to feel dry. That's the only way I would recommend that to you. Mm -mm. You don't want it, trust me. Um, speaking of hair, I had this from a hotel. It was like a sample of the Germat conditioner, you know, for white, white Christmas. Do you hear my children out there? They're watching Monsters University and I guess they're doing their scaring. I don't know why they always have to act out whatever they're, they're watching. I need something that's, that's tame. Like, what can I, what can I put on for my kids that's so tame that if they act it out, they'll be like, they'll sound like butterflies. Happy little quiet butterflies. I know you moms know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, those are my empties. I have a total of seven of 25 done. We still have some months to go. I hear a kid like stomping down the hallway. Hopefully they're going to their room and not my room. Um, all right. Let's get into the Halloween stuff because uh, my brain is absolutely fried. 
Um, my first product I haven't touched, that is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Bilk with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. I chose this because it was orange and I thought, how appropriate for Halloween. Of course, that screaming sounds like Halloween. Um, oh, this one. Um, I chose because it's black packaging and the mascara itself is black. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I just used this for the first time today. I actually have it on my lashes. What do you guys think? I have not decided if I like this better or the purple one, which is the Sculpted Volume, the one that I just finished. I'm not sure which one I like better. I want to give this like a good solid week of use before I decide, but I really like the sculpted volume. So everyone raves about the green one, but maybe it's the difference in the wand and my eyelashes. This is a straight wand where the um, sculpted volume actually has a curved brush. So that could be the difference. I don't know. I think I personally prefer the curved brush, but as for the formula, I'm not noticing a lot of difference. I'm wondering if there's actually a formula difference or if it's just a wand difference. If anyone else uses the um, Lash Princess lines and has tried multiples, let me know what you guys think. Is it the same formula in just a different brush or is the formula different as well as the brush? Because I don't know. I don't know which one I like better yet. I have not used this enough after one day. I don't know. I don't know so we shall see moving on because I'm apparently very talky today um, I have tons of evil shades um, eyeshadows and blushes and I'm going to show you two of them right here this one is 13th hour not a ton of progress on this one I have not been focusing on this one this one is um, heartless queen and it was in a much bigger pan and it is now pressed down to this small pan. So I'm making progress even though in that pan it doesn't look like it because I just pressed it into that pan. I have a bunch of them pressed into here. Um, this was Double Barrel, Bittersweet, um, Elusive, and I think that's all I had in this one. So like this is three or four eyeshadows all in one. So. That one's going to take a while. I haven't really been using that one a whole lot. Um, for my blushes, I had two blushes in the Pink Noise and Brazen. And Brazen is the reason that it got frankened. It was primary red. And very pigmented primary red. Like you think, I I'm looking if I have anything quite that red around me. And I don't. It, it was absolutely primary red. And I needed to franken that because I was not going to put primary red on these cheeks. Mm -mm. So it is in this, along with the pink noise and some stuff from my Harry Potter and a little bit of the um, like peachy, almost like a NARS um, orgasm dupe from e.l.f. in here. It's like all together and it's, it's a gorgeous blush now. It's what I'm wearing today. I really like it, but it's going to take... A daggone long time to finish that up because even frankened out like this it is still very very pigmented I'm enjoying it though I really am um, let's see next is oh the Mally eyeshadow stick and this is in Twilight because you know on Halloween at Twilight things start getting a little sinister when all the little gremlins come out and start demanding their candy um, those kids are, mm -hmm. I was at this line last time and I am at the bottom line now. I am making progress on this. I really like this eyeshadow and, um, I'm enjoying it. I will be right back because I don't know about y'all, but that screaming is on my last nerve. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. And I'm like frazzled. That screaming gets on my last nerve. All the meds in the world are not helping with little kids screeching. It felt like Halloween. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on past the Mally eyeshadow stick to the Skinology Cosmeceuticals eye gel. I chose it because the packaging is black. You can't see any progress in this packaging, so I have weighed it. Um, this 
originally started out at 153 grams. I am currently at 141 grams. I did not make as much progress this past month because I didn't take this big, big packaging on um, vacation with me. It was just too much. So um, that's why that one didn't have quite as much progress in the past month. All right, the last Halloween is Witch Hazel, obviously witch being the Halloween theme there. I was at this line here and now I am at this line. You will notice a theme that a lot of my stuff did not get as much usage this past month because a lot of it I just didn't want to take on vacation with me because, you know, size. Um, okay, on to Christmas. I have two more of those Christmas tree citrus pine lotion bars, so two more to get through. I don't think that'll be a problem for this entire project. I don't think I will have them done by the next update, but I will have some progress on them. Um, my eye, eye makeup remover for Blue Christmas from Equate. It's the only one I buy now. I was here last time and now I am down here. I actually had um, decanted a little bit into a small Lancome um, bottle that I kept for travel purposes, but I put um, put it back in once I got home. So that is true to where it is right now. Um, Clinique Facial Soap. Green because Christmas. This started at 65 grams. It was at 49 grams last time and it is now currently at 40 grams. This is what the little little bar looks like now. I'm definitely making some progress on it. It is getting much smaller. Don't think it will be done by the next update. It will definitely be done in this project before it ends. Tea tree oil, obviously tree for Christmas tree, and also it has a green label on it, which is why I chose it. Um, it was new when I started and I am here now. I don't know if I can have this done by the next update, but definitely in two updates that one should be done. And the last thing I have, I don't even have it here in front of me, it's the PH Naturals Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It has green on its label. I, I haven't even touched that one yet because I'm working on another serum and um, I'm almost done with that serum so hopefully I will at least have started it by the next update. So that is everything. Like I said, as of now I have finished 7 of 25. I apologize for the chaos that is going on out there because whew, I need another vacation called go back to school with children. It is that day. It is that day. All right, I'm going to wrap this up before I rip all of my hair out that's like so neatly pressed back in my ponytail bun thingy here. So wrapping it up, my fantastic ladies, they're going to be down below if you want to go check them out. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.